Good evening. My name is Norman Wumhai, and I'll be hosting this segment of the annual lecture. I hope you're all enjoying the lecture so far. I am a future trainee solicitor at Baker McKenzie and currently work at the Government Legal Department. In October 2017, I won the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Hogan Lovell's Law Scholarship. I was a student at Queen Mary University London having studied law. This recognises me as a next generation diversity leader in the legal industry. Earlier in 2020, I was also made a formal ambassador for the foundation for my consistent work and efforts in this context. Now, securing the training contract was no easy feat. It was extremely difficult and I do not want to sugarcoat the journey. It took me many years, attempts and assessment centres and I finally achieved it with the help and support of the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation. And so my main message from this speech is simple and twofold. To applicants, do not give up if you are unsuccessful during a particular recruitment round or scholarship round. And to recruiters, do not write off those who don't make it in for the first time. Now, the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation over the years has greatly assisted me in my professional and personal development, and notably, me to secure a training contract. I'm going to make reference to three well-known forms of capital, financial, social and cultural capital. This charitable foundation has helped me to develop all three and in turn greatly improved my overall profile and confidence levels to believe in myself. Firstly, with respect to financial capital, the scholarship I received was inclusive of a financial award which was spent to support my career aspirations. To those living in London, you will know that having every penny helps. Secondly, with respect to social capital, this refers to one's networks or connections in a particular context. And these connections are extremely important, especially in understanding how to navigate white collar industries such as law. Now, I am someone who has no lawyers in my family, and pretty much no family working in the city. The Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation over the years has connected me with commercial lawyers from a variety of levels who have mentored me, from ex-global chair Nicholas Cheffings at Hogan Lovells to general counsel at Harper Collins, and a senior city law firm banking lawyer who is also on the board of this year. This has also included the founder of the charity, Dr Miranda Braun, who is also a lawyer. They all instilled in me the confidence that I could secure a training contract, and confidence is something here which is extremely key, especially as imposter syndrome is something which is widely discussed as an issue among those of in the BAME community, and frankly, something that I still experience. These individuals helped me to learn how to manage these feelings and to believe in myself. While on the snows of social capital, I would like to add how the foundation has given me many opportunities to extensively network with others from across the legal profession. I want to give you a few examples. So firstly, the Inner Temple Garden Party in 2019, a cross industry event, including many barristers and solicitors. At the event, I met with Judge Dame Elizabeth Gloucester, where she gave me great career advice. I also sat with Hogan Lovells' diversity and inclusion team on several occasions last year, it gave me great guidance and understanding of the application and assessment centre processes. Earlier this year, pre-COVID, I was able to get a VIP invite to an event where Miranda was speaking at the Jimmy Choo In My Shoes event. This was a senior women's event focused on success tips and the intersection of diversity strands across different professions, i.e. law, banking, fashion and so on. Attending this event meant that I could learn more about diversity and successful journeys while networking with senior professionals in the City of London. Now I want to talk about the fact that I have been recognised as a next generation diversity leader and the active work I've been doing over the years to help with this cause. I have mentored a number of young people consistently over the years and assisted others with applications and mock interviews. Lastly, with regards to cultural capital, this refers to one's understanding or familiarity with that particular context, the knowing what to say, the inside jokes, how to excel, etc. Beginning a work in the city was a real shock to my system initially, given my lack of cultural capital, and this led to many early missteps. I would communicate with Miranda on a regular basis during and after my scholarship year to have vent, to stress, to metaphorically cry, but really just to get some guidance on how to navigate tricky situations I hadn't been in before. And she was always there to support me and gave me the right advice. The foundation has helped to arrange work experience for me, also with the London Chambers, which helped improve my cultural capital. 
And lastly, I want to touch on the work I've done over the years as a next generation diversity uh, leader. Aside from my career in law, I am also a freelance television presenter. I have used my voice to speak on topics such as Black Lives Matter during a televised debate forum and also hosted some of the charities events, such as last year's annual diversity leadership lecture event at the University of Law and the charity's first summer party at the Speaker's House in UK Parliament. Today, it is all about action. I urge everyone to take action from today by using their voice like me to speak on important topics such as diversity and inclusion. And so in conclusion, I can honestly say that the Miranda Braun Diversity Leadership Foundation has helped me to gain the confidence to use my voice to speak on important topics and ultimately help prepare me for a long-term career in law.